everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 uh, favorite nail polishes. Um, and these are all kinds of colors uh, from all brands and they're in no particular order. Um, and they're all different kinds of finishes and stuff. Uh, so let's just get started. The first one that I have to show you is uh, from Pop Beauty. And this is in the shade 75 Purple Plum. And that's what it looks like. Um, and I painted all the shades on my nails so that you can see what they look like. Uh, so there, right there, is the Pop Beauty one. And I really like this. It's a good alternative to black, and uh, I love the formulation of these. Um, I actually have some other ones to show you. Um, and they dry really quickly, and they last for a really long time. They are a little expensive. Uh, they're $10. You can find them at Ulta. Um, but I definitely think that they're worth it um, for the quality of polish that you get. Um, a second one is from Sally Hansen, uh, and this is from their Insta Dry line, and this is in the shade Blue Away, and that's what it looks like right there. This is one of my all-time favorite summer nail polishes, um, it obviously dries really fast. Um, the staying power isn't great, but it uh, lasts for a good amount of time if you put top coat on it. Um, and this also looks really cute on your toes, too. Uh, the third one is um, on my middle finger there. And um, this is from Essie. This is from their um, Lux Effects line. I believe this is limited edition, um, but I just saw them at Target, so they are still available. Um, and this is the shade on a silver platter. Um, it's kind of a goldy champagne gl uh, fine glitter with larger chunks of royal blue glitter in it. Um, this is like a really nice standalone glitter. Uh, it's not like a sheer top coat. It just kind of, this is two coats, um, and it just, and it's opaque. Uh, so that's a really nice one. The fourth one um, is from Sally Hansen as well. This is from their Extreme Wear, and this is in the shade Cherry Red. Uh, this is a really, really opaque formula. Like, you can get away with one coat. I put two on just because I like my reds to be um, really rich looking, but you can definitely get away with one coat, and these last for a really long time. This is a good kind of like rushing kind of, oh, I really need to paint my nails, I'm about to leave. Uh, but, and you can do it really quick because it you just really need one coat. And then the fifth one that I have to show you is another one from Pop Beauty. This is in the shade 63 Mint Magic. And this is also another really fun summer shade. Um, it's kind of a really bright mint. Uh, it's a little more teal than um, something like Essie's Mint Candy Apple. Um, and it's right there on my pinky. Um, and I, once again, these last for a really long time and they dry quickly. The next shade I have to show you is, um, from L'Oreal and this is in the shade Smell the Roses. It's a really nice, um, nude kind of mauve pink tone and that's what it looks like. I, uh, usually prefer more pink tone nudes to more beige tone nudes, um, f uh, cause I'm really pale. Um, usually the more pink toned ones look better on, um, fair skin because they don't wash you out as much. And I really like this one. Um, it goes on really smoothly. The staying power isn't incredible, but it's not bad. Um, the next one I have to show you is yet another one from Pop Beauty. This is the last one. Um, and this is in the shade 10 Violetta. And it's like a really hot um, fuchsia kind of color. Um, and that's what it looks like on my nail there. This, I believe, is three coats. Um, the, that's really the only complaint I have about this is it, it, you kind of need a lot of coats to make it really opaque. Um, but this one is matte. Um, and once again, it's the same with all the Pop Beauty formulas. I find that they all go on really smoothly. Um, they dry really quickly and they last for a super long time. So I really like that shade too. Um, the next one I have to show you is one of my absolute favorite nail polishes. Um, it's right there on my, um, middle finger. And this is from Revlon Color Stay, and this is in the shade Indigo Night. I really love the formula of these. They go on so smoothly, and they last for such a long time. They do take a little while to dry, but, uh, I don't really mind. The, they just come out so smooth. Um, and I really, really like the shade of blue that this is. And the next one I have to show you is, um, Essie's Cute as a Button, and that's on my ring finger right there. Um, and this is like a really nice true coral shade. Um, it's not too orange, not too pink, and it's really bright. This is fun for summer, and it looks good both on your fingers and your toes. Um, the only complaint I have is that this, the staying power of these, um, isn't great. I don't know if that's true for anyone else. Um, but I definitely need a top coat with this, or it just will chip after like one or two days. Um, but I really love the color, and the formula is really smooth too. 
And then the last one I have to show you is from Orly. Um, and this is on my pinky right here. This is in the shade Winter Wonderland, I believe. Yeah. And it's kind of a really um, pearly, snowy, um, white glitter. And it's really fine. And this is another one that, um, that is, a, is a, an opaque glitter. It's not like sheer like a top coat. This is um, in two coats, um, I believe. Or, actually, no, this, one, this one's three coats. And, um, and it builds up to be really opaque and just really pearly. And this actually looks really, really nice um, as like an accent nail. Um, I really like wearing it with um, the purple plum and um, kind of more pale blue green tone shades like this one or the um, blue away that I just showed you. Um, so this is definitely a really versatile shade and it's just really, really pretty looking. Um, so that's all I have to show you. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what your favorite nail polishes are down in the comments because I want to try them out. Uh, if you have any video suggestions, also leave those in the comments below and I'll uh, see what I can do about that. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for future videos. And um, there is a link for this, tutor this eye makeup tutorial in the down bar and I'll link that down there. Um, and I hope that you all enjoyed and you have a good day. Thanks for watching.